Good evening, everyone. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Sylvia Alexander. I'm the chair of the Education Committee, uh, Education, Libraries, and Cultural Affairs Committee. I see some new uh, names here, so I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, we have a quorum, so we're going to start the meeting. Uh, the first on the agenda will be the approval of the minutes in, of January. Um, and um, I just want to put that, on, uh, put that on the floor. Um, I know that Marty has to leave early, so I want to get in the vote. Um, any questions on the uh, minutes? No. Uh, what is that? I guess some people should be. Uh... So uh, anyway, um, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes? I move we approve the minutes. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, anyone uh, against uh, uh, voting against the uh, minutes? Any abstentions? So I deem them passed. Did you have your hand up for something, Marty? I think he's on. No? He no. You're good? OK. Um, I'm writing more sloppy every day, so I can't read my own writing. Um, <laughs> Same thing. I um, just so Marty hears some of this also. I'll, I'll leave my uh, report for a little bit later. Um, I spoke to Eric Dinowitz's office today about the participatory budget. They're um, saying that um, it's not quite the same as it was before. Um, I guess Judy uh, Green would, would uh, be interested in that because she was very active with that. Um, and uh, there's a form that I have to fill out and uh, it's due uh, the middle of uh, March. Um, I'm sending out my uh, letters to the principals um, this week, uh, either today or tomorrow, not today, uh, tomorrow or um, Thursday, uh, as soon as Kira can get them done. And um, I will, I have a date of uh, them, uh, getting back the deadline to get back to me on from the principals uh, would be March 11th. I did it that early because usually you have to remind them. So um, there was a little uh, wiggle uh, room um, before our next meeting. So uh, hopefully they will come through. Uh, the um, participatory uh, budget uh, was not in, in effect when Eric uh, uh, was able to give us uh, money for um, our uh, budget items that uh, OMB never, the Office of Management and Budget never gives us any money. And um, we can put that really on the screen and we'll go over it. We got the results uh, from uh, OMB in terms of what they're funding and what they're not. Uh, as far as the education, uh, again, they're not funding. But um, can we put it on split screen, uh, Ramda? Yep, on it. Okay. Um, the first one that we have here is for the um, Intech uh, track that needed to be resurfaced, and that has been on our agenda for a number of years. And uh, Eric came along and gave them a uh, million dollars to repair it, uh, which is a wonderful thing that happened because we can't wait for them to do the OMB to give us money. Um, the second one is the restoration of the library at Amp Park. Uh, school, which is up by the amalgamated. 
they uh, came back with the response, unable to prioritize funding for this uh, project request at this time, which is what we normally get. Uh, the third one is the um, digital divide. Uh, Eric again stepped in and he has uh, funded $75,000 for Thrive Schools uh, for technology. So even though we're not, they also responded unable to prioritize funding for the project request of this time. Uh, we put in, in into the um, description, the explanation that it was for the underserved and that didn't really make any difference because obviously they don't care. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm see it's sounding very negative, but I, I feel that that's really the way it is. Um, the fourth one is the Marie Curie High School for Medicine. They wanted a uh, to establish a, a special uh, room for their uh, programs. And again, they are unable to prioritize funding for this project. That's a shame. The next time, next thing is um, the RKA um, library, which uh, services 1,535 uh, students and 120 staff members. Uh, they say that it was um, funded in a prior year, which I'm not aware of, and the scope is now underway. So there is some uh, hope there. However, uh, Eric gave money for that also. So either way, I think it'll be, um, it, it'll be completed. Uh, which is a good thing. Um, and the last one is for the PBE supplies because of the uh, virus and they say they can't prioritize any funding for that. So that's really all our uh, items. We had one uh, item on the uh, expense, which was uh, for keeping the schools open uh, for, um, six days and um, I'm not sure what they did with that. I didn't see the expense yet. So anyway, that that's where it is. In the libraries, and Sylvia? The libraries- uh, Open for six days a week? Is yeah. that what you meant? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have it in front of you, David? No, no, no you said the schools. I, I, I just oh, wanted I'm to- Oh, I'm sorry, I meant the libraries. Yep, no problem. So, um, Sylvia. Sylvia? Yeah. Um, have you contacted all the libraries? They should have a say, all of them, in, in what they may uh, want. Aside from- Yeah, the well, we're, in the we're in the process of gathering all that information. The libraries will be touched also. Okay. All right. I'm, not at the the I'm not at the, the end of my uh, search. I'm at the beginning. Okay. We start with the principal letters and then we yeah. get everybody else. Because, because of the, uh, the virus, this, this is a totally different way of uh, coming up with, uh, uh, with, with the, the different schools or the different libraries, uh, the different projects that have to be done. Because the public uh, was voting on it. From what I gather, uh, the public is not going to be voting on this. Unless right. Eric puts something out uh, for uh, people to answer by email, uh, the public is not going to be voting on this. Right, I understand. It's a whole different process. But right. he has $5 million and I want to get some of wonderful. that. <laughs> it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Yeah, the, the uh, participatory was only a million. So yeah. Th yeah. this is really a windfall. So. Um, I will continue to be in touch with him, his office, Good. and hopefully uh, something will come out of it. But it, it's in the future. You know, uh, it, it won't happen until uh, March or April. So um, I think we're in good shape. I think we're going in the right direction, and uh, I'll keep at it. Um,
the um hmm. uh i read uh, uh that uh mayor um adams is uh cutting our budget for the education because we we lost about 200,000 children because of the um pandemic uh, either they transferred to other schools or moved or whatever, where they ever they went. And uh, he was hoping that he would get uh, stimulus money from the federal government to make up the difference. So I don't know where that is going to be. However, the, um, the mayor and the city council have to come to a decision on their uh, budget uh, together by uh, June 30th. So hopefully the city council will push for uh, more money. Uh, this is only uh, Mayor Adams' first try at, at our budget and uh, hopefully something else will develop. Also, the uh, mayor has um, uh, put out, actually the chancellor has put out uh, news that the graduation rate has gone up 1%. Uh, he it only came in in January, so it can't be because of anything he did. Um, hopefully that will continue and um, more students will um, graduate. The On May, uh, March uh, 4th, there's going to be a virtual uh, forum uh, regarding the mayor um, control on the schools. Um, I don't know exactly what time yet. I haven't seen anything in terms of specifics, but um, I think that that will be very interesting. Uh, they will take, um, they being the uh, State Department of um, Education, the City Department of Education, and the Assembly Committee on Education will be the um, three uh, uh, entities uh, there. So they will be taking uh, questions. So um, it should be interesting to hear what people have to say. I know that parents are uh, up in arms about uh, the masks, uh, uh, on or off uh, and other things uh, in San Francisco, there were three um, uh, board members, school board members that were removed because they were more interested in removing um, names of uh, uh, public uh, figures like Abraham Lincoln and George Washington and names from schools. Um, instead of uh, paying attention to what's happening in the schools with the students. So they were removed. Uh, I think parents have had it. I think that it's wonderful that they are coming out and they are doing more active um, things. Uh, they've been quiet much too long. Uh, and um, hopefully things will change a little bit for the better for the students because they need a lot of support. They've lost a lot because of the pandemic and uh, they should really be the uh, goal of everyone to get them educated and not um, leave them uneducated. There's no reason for it. And um, I'm hoping that, that uh, things will change a little bit. Um, The, um, I'll go into a little bit of my report. Um, the uh, school um, food services uh, making Fridays uh, vegan day. Um, I don't know how the students are. I did read a few um, reports and, and uh, they seem to think that it's very tasty. So hopefully that will be something uh, instead of the uh, kinds of food that they have been getting in years that they just threw in the garbage rather than eat. So um, that's a good thing. And um, let's see, what did I leave out? I didn't leave anything out. How about that? Okay, so... Um, the uh, mitzvah uh, project is going forward. 
Oh, I'm sorry. There's a question, Sebastian. Yes. Hi, Sylvia. Uh, could you explain a little bit how parents can be involved with that mayoral control process? The, the yeah, the, years ago, many years ago, the state education department was in charge of the city schools. Now the mayor is in charge of the city schools. During the um, reign of uh, Mayor de Blasio, uh, much of the education uh, was a spotty. He did put in um, three-year-olds, uh, you know, like a um, program, which was successful, but the, the schools themselves were not functioning very well. So um, many people felt that the mayor should not be in charge of the schools. Uh, but I think that that was a um, different situation because of the person that uh, de Blasio is. And I'm hoping that um, the uh, next mayor will uh, be more inclined to speak up for the students and, and keep things rolling. Uh, there will be a debate. The debate is between the state and the uh, mayor, the city, and we'll see where, you know, where it comes out on that side. That, so that's why think. that uh, uh, forum on March 4th is very important to watch because that is the only time that you can actually put in any uh, opinion. Uh, it's not something that we vote on, we have no role in the process. So, um, you know, anything that you can uh, glean from the March 4th meeting would be helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, can, I, can I yeah, Terrence, make real quick? Right. On... Go ahead. Um, my, my name is, yes, my name is Terrence Lindsay. My son, Terrell Lindsay, and his friends go to Intech. Uh, academy junior high uh -huh. school and it's about eight or nine and they do not like the vegan friday i i understand with people with the reports and stuff but these kids like they go to each other house and they be gaming on the weekends when they're not in school especially like now they're on vacation you know a couple of guys a couple of kids was over here my son is going over there tomorrow to their house and they do not like the vegan food. No? Not at all. Uh-huh. No, they don't. They take it. They take it because, you know, they stand in line. And that's the they're routine. Hungry. Because mm -hmm. they're already programmed. Yeah, they're already programmed to do that. Especially right. like my son and most of his friends. Um, they have they they have their cards. They go to the stores, the bodegas on the way to Intech and get the bacon, egg and cheese or they um, ham with lettuce and tomatoes on it or uh -huh. whatever they're gonna, gonna get, they um, pasta leos or they, you know, they they get their stuff on the way to school. Cause if they you, plan. If you're out there and you just standing there and you're observing, it's, there you go. <laughs> just yeah. like my grandmother's always told me. You plan, and those kids, they don't, they don't like the vegan, they don't like the vegan stuff. They really don't. You got to think about the kids. I mean, in your own, I have four kids. You know what I'm saying? I just had a newborn baby. Torrance is, oh, is a month old. Mm -hmm. um, they don't, they don't want that. I mean, yes, we got to make sure. They my kids eat some eat corn on the cob, some will eat broccoli, some won't eat broccoli, but the vegan, they don't like it. I just want to put well, it out there. That's it. Do you do you um go are you involved in the parents association or anything like that? Um at the school I ran for the P I ran for the PTA at the school at Intech. Um Somebody else won, but they wanted me to be, um, I think it was kind of like a, a, a backup person right. to, to the person. Um, I turned it down because if I was going to do it, I really want to do it. 
and right. I want to be in this. The, the reason that, that I'm suggesting that is that I yeah. can do whatever I feel is necessary. Right. Um, so the reason I'm, I'm, I'm kids, like, you know, I've, I've hoped that can, go ahead. Uh, the reason that I'm suggesting ahead, that is that the parents, the parents of the children in the school should complain to the principal as far as the food is concerned. If that is an issue, then uh, it's something that they internally have to fix. Um, as I say, the report that I heard was that they were in favor of it, the students. Now, uh, the high school, yeah. perhaps they want uh, more, um, you know, uh, satisfying food. Uh, vegetables doesn't do it for them. They're growing and whatever. Oh, so uh, you have to really do it within the school. We don't have the uh, ability awesome. to get involved yeah. in that. But it's interesting that you brought it up. Thank you. Ram Dutt? Hey, Sylvia. Yeah. Um, I guess just to um, answer Sebastian's question a little bit, um, he was asking about the process. Um, the uh, state assembly members and the state senators will have a vote whether or not they will extend mayoral control again. Um, so the hearing itself will, it's their chance to hear from everyone um, testimony on whether or not people or their constituents think mayoral control is working. And, you know, obviously, you can call your state senators, state assembly members, write them and say whether or not you are, are in favor of mayoral control or not. And then they will vote on it before the, um, before the budget uh, goes into effect. Um, before, and then mayoral control is supposed to expire, I believe, um, at the end of the school year, actually. The um, June 30th, yes. Mm -hmm. So it, it, mayoral control has to be voted on. Um, before I believe the state budget takes an effect. They're voting on April 1st. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just curious, either one of you guys know how long the quote unquote terms are for mayoral control? Is it every year? Is it every four years or five four years? years. Four years. Four mm -hmm. years. Okay. So time for the term of the mayor. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyone else have a question? No, okay. Um, I think I've covered uh, pretty much uh, what I had. Um, it went faster than I thought it would, but um, I'd love okay. to hear from the librarian from Spite and Divo. Maria? I think there might be still a couple of questions, so. Yeah, Sylvia. Um, Sylvia. Where, where do you see questions? Myra. I see hands up. Myra, yes, Myra. Myra, yes. <laughs> yes, um, were you going to talk about the mitzvah project? Because I know you started saying something. Yeah, I mentioned that. it, but uh, I didn't really fill it in. Please fill it in. Okay, so. Um, I'll fill in, you sent me an email on the 18th um, that Principal Mark Weisberg from um, High School 368 um, expressed some interest in it. So I actually emailed him a little while ago today and CC'd you um, with the video, a link to the video and to the teacher and student um, resources for it. So. Um, I'm hoping to hear back from him. Roger actually emailed this afternoon. And so I replied to him that we're on it. Right, and yeah, I saw that the second mm -hmm. one that he, he would like to help, he wants it to go, keep going. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I misjudged um, 141 because I didn't realize that this week they were not going to be in session. So uh, I, I didn't realize that it was this week that they were going for their break. So mm -hmm. I have to wait until next week in order to, to, to speak to the principal. Oh. So I, I, I called her on Friday. It was probably the worst day in the world. 
because uh, she was trying to get out for her break and it was Friday and she probably had a million things to do. And uh, I realized that that wasn't a good thing. But as I say, I didn't realize it was this week, so. Right. Well, it, wheels of progress are turning in any case. So, Can you explain what the project is, please, briefly? Okay. So um, Roger Grunwald, who actually is in California, his, um, his mother, um, was a Holocaust survivor and um, he's an actor. And but what he has devoted his life to is to um, basically educate people on the Holocaust and um, you know, the realities of it. So he has this project or this one man show that he does and it's, um, he makes it entertaining, if you can imagine anything about the Holocaust being entertaining. But um, students really um, can, um, it resonates with students. Um, he did it at Manhattan College, which was the first place that I saw it. So he does, the first part of this, the project is um, a video of this one man show where it's basically an interaction um, between himself and the Nazis. And um, the, the second part of it is Q and A. So, I mean, it's really important right now for him. I mean, it's an eye opener about the whole situation. And he also um, has recently brought in the uh, Black Lives Matter issue, the racial issue that's going on. So it's, it's primarily about anti-Semitism, but it is also about um, racism in general. And it's considering what's going on here. Um, I think it's very timely and Sounds hopefully like we, yeah. we will get this done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I have heard about it now that you're saying it, so. Yeah. yeah. He's been around for a long time. He, he uh, started out in the Bronx, uh, but then they moved to California. So, but he hasn't forgotten his roots and he's doing this free of charge. Normally he does charge for it and he's doing it here in the Bronx free of charge. So uh, right. he, he's ready to go and we're not, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> but we're getting there. Yep. We are yep. getting there. Um, Ram Dutt, is your hand up uh, yeah, I had before? A, not related to the Mitzvah project. Um, I was wondering if you have any updates on the new school near vegetation, like where are we at in that process? Oh, oh let me just finish this a little oh, bit. I didn't mean to Let's, before we, we start another, um, I thought maybe you were gonna talk about uh, your teaching of the um, uh, history of, of uh, World War II, but Oh, yeah, I can um, time. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know you can go either way, but um, I, I wanted to bring something up. Um, the, I know that you're, I'm not putting you on the spot or anything like that, but uh, maybe you could be helpful to me. <clears throat> uh, you're on the, the special committee on racial equity. Um, uh, what's her name? Margaret um, has uh, pinpointed the fact that we, as an education committee have not um, submitted anything that uh, we have accomplished, which is really not true. Uh, it, it is, uh, we, we did uh, a couple of things and we're certainly doing the uh, mitzvah project, which I think is as important as whatever it is that they are considering as the racial um, uh, situation. Both are very important and both should be taken care of. But uh, is there any discussion at the meetings that, that we haven't followed through? I mean, I was a little shocked to, to be uh, pinpointed. Um, I think, you know, Margaret was trying to get like a list of things that were accomplished in regards yeah. to, you know, racial equity and specifically. Right. Um, and, you know, obviously the, it's a special committee, so, you know, it won't, it won't prolong, you know, maybe for future 
um, CB years, um, but it was just trying to get at, you know, what aspects of racial equity are being brought up in education, cultural libraries and cultural affairs. Right, and now, uh, uh, as far as the mitzvah project, it's not been completed. Therefore, I haven't really reported it to the committee. Um, is there something that they are specifically looking for? I, and that's Other what, than what's obvious? I didn't mention it either because we were still in the planning phrases of the mitzvah yeah, project. Yeah. Um, and I didn't mention that either because mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know where, you know, we're still in like the planning. We exactly. weren't. Exactly final stages of any like you know how we with the Van Cortland um enslaved people's project we know that was set in stone right um so I didn't want to mention it um right, but right. I can mention it at next month's meeting um right. if you would like well no I'll, I'll I'll call Margaret and and I'll try to explain it to her uh because uh, certainly I don't want her to think that we're not doing our our bit so um you know um Terrence Yes, um, I just had a weird question. Um, what's the name of this equality group again? I never heard of it before. Oh, mitzvah um, is is a um, honor. Uh, it's um, what is it called? Mitzvah. Oh, he, oh, I think he's you want to explain about what the racial equality group is. Is that what the committee on yeah. racial equality? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. The what's the project. name? What's the name of the organization and what they do? Because I never heard of it. That's I'm just curious. The racial uh, equality uh, equity. Is yeah, that what you're okay, talking about? Yeah, you that's taking, the name of it. I, it's a special committee of the Community Board Eight called the Special Committee on Racial Equality uh, Equity. Okay. Is that is that what I just never to? heard of it before. That's that's why I'm I mean quite yeah, exactly. What do they do? Well what, what, uh Ram Dad, do you want to explain what they do? Yeah, I'll happy to. Hey Terrence. Um so community board eight um has standing committees such as this one that meets that it's on <laughs> the bylaws. And recently there was the community, community board um, created the special committee on racial equity, looking at um, how racial equity is addressed in every one of the committees, whether it be education, it would be parks, it, whether it be transportation, so on and so forth. So the, the role of, of the special, special committee on racial equity was to look and find ways that racial equity can be embedded in every one of these committees moving forward to address um, you know, any um, racial inequities that are happening in Community Board 8. I hope and that- you, you, you could call the uh, Community Board office. You could be so put any, on a list, a mailing okay, list. Address any- and, and you would be able to get the uh, uh, connecting um, link for the uh, Zoom meeting, and you could tune in. Okay. All right. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Um, Libraries. Maria. Where is Maria? Good evening, everyone. I'm here. How is everyone this evening? Uh, for those of Good you I have not met yet. Uh, my name is Maria Brené. I'm the manager over at the Spite and Diva Library. Um, and just a, a quick um, update uh, at the Spite and Diva Library before I pass it off to my colleagues over at Kingsbridge uh, and Jerome Park. Um, as of February 14th, the New York Public Library has resumed all in-person programming. Um, I believe the last time I attended uh, this meeting back in December, we had uh, put on a brief pause, but now we have resumed all programming uh, back in our branches. Um, this does include our in-person story time, uh, which is very popular. 
Uh, and then we have a full calendar of events for March, such as our monthly book club, our story times, and our Saturday cinemas. Um, also, for those interested, we also are uh, providing the um, federal and state tax forms to the public. Uh, so we do have an ample supply if anybody is interested or anybody needs those forms, please come down and, and visit our branch. Uh, and now I will pass it over to Martha from Kingsbridge. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Maria. Um, so like Maria, we have uh, in-person programming as well. Um, our after-school program is thriving. We're very excited about that and happy. We have a lead tutor and we have 14 reading ambassadors. Two of them are from Intech Academy. We're very happy about that as well. Um, I want to talk about our new educator and um, let me just get the website. The Center for Educators and Schools. It's a new uh, initiative with the New York Public Library. It's strictly targeted for educators and schools. Um, it's a great resource for the students educators, we have a whole bunch of um, uh, trainings coming up. Um, you can subscribe. It's at our website, nypl.org. You can go on the website and look for Centers for Educators. Um, and there you'll see the link and all of the um, upcoming virtual workshops for the teachers. There's Teachers in Classroom, Educator Tour of the Polinsky ex Exhibition, a bunch of stuff. Um, we have a book list. Um, for teens, adults, and children. Um, we also are doing in-person class, classes now. We have a class with the Amber Charter School. Uh, most of our um, participants and students from the after-school program are from the Amber Charter School. Um, we're grateful for their support. Um, we are now um, a COVID test kit distributing site. Um, we have COVID tests for the patrons. We just signed on today. Um, so we have a limited supply of test kits for the public. Um, I believe that um, we're the only one in the West Bronx in the, in the district. Um, Amashalo is another site. There's seven, there's seven in the Bronx, but Kingsbridge is the only one in the West Bronx that are um, handing out these kits. So um, spread the word. Um, we also have tax forms. Um, and yeah, we're, we're looking forward to um, these workshops with the uh, Center for Educators and Schools. And I'm, I'm right there with you, Sylvia. I think that the kids really, really need a boost in, um, and, and the teachers too, they need the support. Yeah. Uh, Maria, uh, is there any talk about um, the uh, work that uh, slated to be um, expanding the Spite and Dival Library in the future? I'm asking uh, because I'm looking for a budget item. Not at this time. I don't have any additional updates on that. No, there's no talk of it at all? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. Uh huh. Okay. Um, if in your uh, travels, both Martha and, and uh, Maria, if you come across something from downtown as far as budget is concerned, could you uh, forward it to me? Because sometimes they're a little bit slow in getting it to me. And uh, if, you know, staff librarians um, can get it uh, a little faster, perhaps. Yeah. We, we've been talking to uh, councilmen on uh, branch needs, at least for Kingsbridge. And I believe Riverdale is on his radar as well. Um, so we will definitely um, follow up on that and give you that communication. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you I for think being so. here this evening. You're welcome. We have one more colleague, Tambra. She'll probably give you a little bit of uh, uh, what's going on in Jerome Park. Tambra? Oh, OK. Hello. Thank you, Martha. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so as Martha mentioned at um, Kingsbridge, they are an after-school site. Jerome Park is also an after-school site um, with homework help from 3 to 6 p.m. with tutors. We have one lead tutor um, and two teen reading ambassadors that help the children that come in after school with homework. Um, 
So some upcoming programming at Jerome Park. So on the 28th in celebration of Black History Month, we are having a book discussion where participants are encouraged to join and discuss any books that they are currently reading um, or have read about, you know, any prominent by prominent authors or um, characters or prominent figures. That's an in-person program. Um, going into March, we have uh, savings 101 for teens that will be virtual that's on March 14th on March 10th we are having a paint party so participants will create paintings that are inspired by some of their favorite um, female artists and that's in celebration of women's history month um, on March 17th we will be having a green slime making for St. Patrick's Day that's in person um, and that's about it that I have for Jerome Park Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. We don't hear from uh, Jerome Parks that often. Thank you for being here. No problem. Okay. Um, uh, that kind of um, concludes what I uh, set out to do. Um, oh, uh, one other thing. Um, the last uh, month we had uh, the parent of a student who was um, uh, attacked by one of the uh, and another student uh, outside of school and um, at our general meeting the uh, captain of the 50th precinct was there and um, uh, they did the right thing they had the student who did the attacking um, was suspended so um, there is some justification Hopefully they have learned their lesson and uh, everyone can go on. Uh, they knew each other before the, the uh, altercation, but um, even so, uh, kids will be kids and um, it just happened. So hopefully it was nipped in the bud and uh, it won't happen again. So I just wanted to give you a backup on that. Um, any old business that you want to bring up? Uh, Terrence, your hand is up again. Uh, yeah, well, um, new business. I want to talk about the speed bumps that um, I have the petition for. Um, over 300 um, petitions for the speed bumps on Kingsbridge Terrace because we have a school PS360 down there. I have um, Letters that have been sent to, to um, the, the board of the, the board of I mean Department of Parent Coordinator because they're also the parent um, with the traffic coming through. So we do have speed bumps from the first incident when the kid um, the kid got ran over. Abel got hit. And then also the, the tragic accident happened in 20 in front of 2899 about 20 years ago. But when they put the speed bumps in that we have now presently, they put them in the wrong spot. My godmother and a few other parents in the neighborhood was very upset about where they positioned the speed bumps, but it was never taken care of. But that was then, but this is now. And the new situation is I put in for three speed bumps. Um, from the top of the hill, the middle of the hill, to the bottom of the hill, to the city steps. And also I've had um, um, Mr. Dining was off this. They have sent a letter regarding the speed bumps already put in the petition, the, um, the permit community boy eight to in, and hopefully by May or June, we can get speed. We can get these speed bumps on Kingsbridge Terrace. So, That's so I'm, let me let me let me ask you a question. They yes. are there, or you're asking for speed bumps? I'm what is it you're asking for? for? Additional speed bumps because the first initial speed bumps that was put in, it was put in in the wrong position. 
understood i understand so you want them taken out and the speed bumps put in the right place uh no i want the present speed bumps to remain where they at i need one of them to be to be repaired the speed bump uh -huh. the, the speed bump the old speed bump the old speed bump that i have now right before the entrance of the school maybe 20 feet needs to be repaired we had a gentleman on the block i uh, was on a, a, a moped dirt bike with over the speed bump and because the speed bump is not need to be repaired the gentleman the teenager got hurt uh-huh but that's not that that's one of the issues but the main issue is be from 27 57 we need a speed bump there from 2780. We need a speed bump there from West 229th Street. We put a, we need a speed bump there. We need three new additional speed bumps. We do not need the old speed bumps removed. We just need could could one I could I suggest repaired. something to you, Terrence? I, I also I can't... put that in the petition, and I have a. Put, uh, I have a Terrence, uh, listen to me a moment. Um, can. We can't, the education committee can't handle it, but there is a traffic and transportation committee that could be helpful to you. So if you were to give that information to the community board, then uh, they would assign it to the TNT meeting and, and perhaps something could be done. Uh, would you be able to do that? Yes, yes, I will definitely be able to do that. That's not a problem. But what I was told is the first step I had to go through is I had to make my presence into um, the new business of your meeting when you have. And then the second part, I, when y'all have a meeting with the traffic and community department, then I can do that second. That's what I was told. So I'm just following protocol. Well, I, I, I'm uh, sorry, but there's nothing that I can do for you. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I guess because of 360, uh, they thought education would be able to help. But um, no. I have no um, input into, uh, I happen to be, no, I'm not anymore. Um, it, I don't have any real input to make it happen. But the TNT meeting could uh, help be helpful for you, so I saw I yes. suggest you doing that. Yes, I, I definitely want to go forward to that. But isn't today that you also discussing new business? Well, we have new business, but uh, you know there are things in education that I take care of: uh, education, oh, okay. libraries, and cultural affairs. Uh, as far as speed bumps or traffic or anything like that, it goes to the TNT meeting. Okay. <laughs> Even though it's I by a school, you know what I mean. Got you. Parents, I think they would welcome you. you. I think they would welcome you contacting them in the traffic and, and transportation because it's an important issue that you're talking about. And um, if you contact them, that might might be very helpful because the education committee handles different things. So. But it's good that you have an interest. And if you follow up with that, that would help everybody. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Um, I just got, I, I got to know when when y'all having your, your transportation and committee meeting. It is on a Thursday night, the third Thursday of the month. And I will definitely attend. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you. Uh, Ramdad, do you have a question? Um, I'll let David go before me because I think maybe his hand was up in response. Uh, yeah, it's very simple. Uh, you're right about the placement of uh, speed bumps and whatnot, but the, if he's looking to get uh, one or two of them repaired, 311 and or a call to the, to the board office would uh, facilitate the repair uh, immediately as opposed to you know, months away in some budget cycle. 
Oh, thanks. I appreciate that, yo. I appreciate that a lot, man. I would okay. definitely, yeah, I would definitely take that. I would definitely do do that avenue. Three one one. Yeah, I would definitely do that. And yeah. and, and uh, after you do three one one, yeah, either by phone or by online, uh, call the office and give them that uh, what they call a ticket number, so that uh, they can uh, uh, follow up on it for you. Yes, yeah, I get that from three one one. The ticket number. Yes, yeah. and call the office and give them the ticket number. Which which office is the call? I'm sorry, call the, the board the community office. Community board uh, office. Yes. Oh, community board. Community board eight office. Eight. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Do you have that number? Got you. Uh, all right. Thank you. I appreciate that. A lot, You're guys. quite welcome. Do you want the number for it. the uh, community board? I definitely got it. Don't worry about it. No, I have that already. Oh, I, spoke have to I spoke to Pablo a few times. Okay, good. Good. We don't want to leave you hanging. We want it fixed. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah. What you want, Tyrus? Uh, Ramdat, your hand is still up. You have another question? Yeah, my question was earlier uh, about school uh sca and where we are and up uh, you know any updates right. on okay we where we are is where we were um as far as the sca is concerned they are sticking with what they said that we can't have a meeting with them until after it goes through the city council as far as the site selection is concerned the environmental study will be done during now okay. and when they go to the council but we are not privy to that. So um, uh, uh, what's his name? Bob Fanuzzi and uh, Laura Spalter, the chair of the board have just sent a, or will be sending a letter to the um, attorney for SCA, uh, again, asking for our involvement because we wanna be able to uh, bring up our issues directly rather than have them deliver them uh, and uh, perhaps uh, prevent something uh, going uh, awry, uh, you know, before uh, the, you know, when they get to that part of it, uh, it should really go smoothly. So we're trying to, uh, you know, change their mind as far as our involvement is concerned. I don't know whether it'll happen or not. SCA is very hard to work with. So, um, you know, they're very sad. I looked them up on, on the computer and, and what they said to us is exactly what it says on the computer that they have to meet with uh, the CEC and uh, the community board. And then they uh, go to the city council and they, they don't have to uh, be involved with us in the meantime. So I don't know if the letter will move them or not, but I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Um, any other uh, questions or any other topics that you want to bring up? Not seeing any hands, so shall we um, have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Okay, um, and it's seconded by? Second. Okay, okay. Um, anyone against? Any abstentions? Okay, well, thank you everyone for coming. Thank and you. Thank I, you. Um, we'll see you next month. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, you. good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Feel better, Rita. Stay well. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot. You want me well too. <laughs> Take care now. Bye. Okay, bye bye. bye. Have a good